I added these guys after my team clears on day one to help you guys out. So if this video does help you, make sure to drop a like, sub, and share the video down below. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's G Miners here. In this video, we are going over the final encounter for King's Fall in D2, the Oryx fight, and the corresponding challenge. To start off, assign players to each of the four plates around the arena. This will leave you with two players to flex through the middle. Start the encounter by clearing adds, and eventually Oryx will go to one of the four plates, slam his fist, and then the plate is going to start glowing green. The player assigned to this plate should hop on it, and one of the other five players will randomly be torn between dimensions. This player must go to the plate that Oryx already slammed at, and the player on this plate will look for a symbol above one of the other four plates. Call this out, and someone must also hop on that plate. This is going to build dimensional platforms for the torn player to climb up and grab the orb at the top. While this is happening, Light Eater Ogres are going to spawn from the ground on each plate, kill them as soon as they spawn, and they're going to drop a Taken Blight, which we will be using later. Also at this time, a Light Eater Ogre will spawn at each plate as well. This knight will attempt to eat the Blight, so make sure to kill it and prevent it from doing that. After all ogres are dead, repeat the platforming section two more times. Once again, just hop on the plate that's glowing green, call out the second plate to hop onto, and have the torn player jump up top. The third time, the torn player must grab the brand claimer at the top, drop down, and then steal the aura of immortality from the knight that spawns. From here, wait for Oryx to slam his fist, and then have each player stand in their blight until it says their name and shows that they detonated it. If you fail to detonate a single blight, then Oryx is going to wipe you, and the number of blights that you do detonate will also correspond to how much time you have to deal damage. After this, immediately run back into the aura in mid to prevent dying from the blights and start dealing damage to Oryx. Also note, if someone who is typically at a plate is holding the brand, one of the flex players should go and activate their blight. After damage, Oryx will do one of two things. If you see Taken Knight spawning on all the pillars or the plates, Oryx is going to be spawning Taken Bombs everywhere, so all you need to do is sprint around and dodge these. Otherwise, he will create a dome and spawn in the Shade of Oryx. Players will be TP'd one at a time into this dome to kill the shade, but to do this, you need to bait his slam by standing relatively still and then damage him afterwards. Repeat all these mechanics to reach final stand. In final stand, an ogre is going to spawn on the left and right sides at the far end of the arena where Oryx spawns at the beginning of the fight. Kill both and then have everyone on your team start damaging Oryx except for one person. This person will need to detonate the Blight to get off the stun on Oryx. Then, when Oryx prepares his wipe again, activate the second Blight, which should give you enough time to kill him. Challenge for this encounter is to never kill the same Light Eater Ogre or Light Eater Knight twice. To do this properly, we just rotate plates after each damage phase. If a player who is defending a plate ends up getting torn and has to do the jumping, then a flex player will just kill their Ogre and their Knight, and will need to remember which ones that they killed. Otherwise, by default, the plate players will never kill the same Ogre or Knight twice, because again, they're just rotating. Once again, if this video helped you out, a like and sub are greatly appreciated. As always, have a good one, guys. Peace.